Dear students, we were discussing that how to represent an algorithm. And today we will talk about further that how an algorithm can be represented using pseudocode. So what is pseudocode? Pseudocode is a notational system in which ideas can be expressed informally during the algorithm development process. So we are not saying it formally because the formal representation of algorithm is in programming language. However, when we represent in a pseudocode, then it is a little bit informal that everyone can understand even without understanding the particular language constructs. And sometimes we use constructs from one language and sometimes we, construct, we use constructs from different languages to build an pseudocode. So we will be discussing in details in next modules and next slides. So one way of representing uh, algorithm using pseudocode is that we lose the rules of formal programming languages. We do not uh, remain very strict and we borrow the syntax semantic structure of the language to represent a pseudocode. And result is that many variants exist depending on what language has been used to build the pseudocode. So sometimes one use a C language, sometimes one use Pascal, Java or any other programming language to represent the algorithm using pseudocode. So we'll start with a very basic introduction of how to represent a uh, concept of saving results uh, using pseudocode. So you must remember our computer architecture lectures where we represent a RAM like this and we said that every cell in the RAM has an address. So for example, this has 00, 01, 02, 03, 04 and so on. So, for example, we want to say that you have received 90 marks out of 100 in Introduction to Computing course. Then we will write result is equal to 100. And here we will not say this is equal to because in uh, mathematics this equal means equal. However, in programming language, this is basically an assignment operator and this means that this 100 is going to be assigned to result. And what is result? Result is a name of any particular memory location. So this means, for example, result is a memory location 01 and when you write this statement, result is assigned by 100. So this 100 is assigned in the result which means 100 is saved over here. So this is a basic notation of assignment to represent a pseudocode. So you can also use any other things. For example, you can say Celsius is 99, which means you are representing a temperature in Celsius scale and you are assigning 99 value to this C and C would be somewhere stored in the RAM and 99 would be assigned. So you should not confuse yourself between assignment and equal operator. So as we mentioned that in mathematics this is equal and there are different languages which consider this as a equal like in C language It says, this is assignment and to represent equal C language use double equal. However, there is another language known as Pascal which have colon equal and this is called assignment and equal is actually equal like we have in mathematics. This means when we want to assign value using Pascal language, 
or we are constructing a pseudocode in Pascal language, then we will say marks assigned by 90. And in C language, we will say marks assigned by 90. So we will talk, this is as an assignment, but we will use different notation depending upon what we are using as a underlying language. So this pseudocode is normally represented uh, dif by different languages and Algol and Pascal are very famous because they can be found in the written literature, academic papers and reports and books. However, nowadays Java and C are, are also being used and in our modules we will be using mainly the language Python which is very popular nowadays and going to be very popular in the upcoming time. So similarly, there is another construct known as if structure in the programming language. So if you want to represent anything using if, you can say if marks are greater than equal to 50, declare pass. Else, declare fail. And whenever we use if, we will use this colon at the end of the statement when we are using Python. So if we conclude today's module, we have learned a simple definition of pseudocode and we have represented uh, assignment and equal constructs and the if structure using pseudocode.